we are a, a bunch of automotive guys that build a rocket rather than a rocket company building a rocket. Rocket Factory Augsburg leverages high volume automotive components, making them 10 times more expensive than their original cost, yet still 10 times cheaper than traditional aerospace components. This strategy balances cost and performance by customizing reliable automotive parts for space use. This innovative procurement method not only reduces expenses, but also opens new markets for automotive suppliers, demonstrating a smart, efficient way to manage costs in aerospace engineering. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Procurement in the Park. I'm Christian Schu, and today we are diving into an exciting intersection of automotive engineering and space technology, focusing on Rocket Factory Augsburg. My very first TV memory is the moon landing. Watching Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin hop around in spacesuits on a grainy black and white TV deeply influenced who I am today. I became an engineer and devoured everything related to science and technology. However, the moon landing overpromised. By my four-year-old self's expectations, we should have cities on Mars and I should have spent my last vacation on the moon. Instead, we have retreated to low Earth orbit, and even that became challenging. Germany's automotive industry is one of the strongest in the world, supplying car makers globally. Recently, there has been a lot of pessimism about its future due to competition from electric vehicle makers like Tesla and BYD. But there's an intriguing twist that could rejuvenate this traditional industry. I recently watched a video by Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut, one of my favorite YouTubers and a crew member of SpaceX's upcoming Dear Moon mission. In his latest video, Tim visited Rocket Factory Augsburg, a new company aiming to compete in the satellite launch market. RFA is predominantly made up of automotive engineers who leverage high volume automotive components and customize them for space applications. This customization makes the components 10 times more expensive than the original price, but still 10 times cheaper than traditional aerospace parts. The key is it's not from a dedicated space supplier that right. charges you five, 10 grand per valve. This right. costs a few hundred dollars per valve. RFA's Helix engine is a testament to this innovative approach. Their first design with a chamber pressure of about 100 bars aims to get them into orbit quickly. The goal is to push this to 300 bars in the future. What's fascinating is how RFA uses standard automotive parts modified to withstand the rigors of space. Components from exhaust systems, industrial actuators and even electric scooter motors are repurposed, offering a cost-effective solution. For example, the valves used by RFA come from German automotive companies designed originally for spot welding guns in manufacturing lines. These are the most reliable valves because any failure would halt production lines costing millions. By adapting these valves for the rockets, RFA achieves reliability at a fraction of the cost of traditional aerospace components. RFA's approach is a brilliant example of innovative procurement. By tapping into the automotive supply chain, they cut costs significantly while maintaining high performance. This strategy not only benefits RFA, but also provides a new market for automotive suppliers, offering them a lifeline in the face of the EV revolution. This innovative strategy is something I plan to highlight in the next edition of my book, Profit from the Source, published by Harvard Business Review Press. It's a perfect case study of how connecting with the right suppliers and adapting high volume components can revolutionize an industry. So what can we learn from RFA's approach? If you're struggling with a limited number of suppliers and are unhappy with the performance, think outside the box. 
look for high quality mass produced components in other industries that can be adapted to your needs. This innovative approach can save costs and open up new possibilities. Thank you for watching. I'm Christian Schuh and this has been Procurement in the Park.